Let's go over rationalizing the denominator for a problem that looks like this. When we're trying to rationalize the denominator, there's two things that I want you to understand. We're trying to get rid of the radical in the denominator. And to get rid of the radical in the denominator, we gotta be able to create something that we can take the square root of. So if I have the square root of five, and I multiply it by itself, the square root of five, that's gonna give me the square root of five squared. Now it's important to understand, the square root and squaring are inverse operations. So that's just going to give us a five. So I need to make sure I multiply by the square root of five in the denominator, but also I need to make sure I multiply by the square root of five in the numerator. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I need to produce what we call equivalent fractions. As long as I multiply the same number in the numerator and the denominator, I produce what we call an equivalent fraction. Three fourths is equivalent to six eighths. All right, so multiplying the square root of five in the denominator and the numerator, and just remember, this is the square root of five times one plus the square root of five. So it's important to insert these parentheses to remember you have to apply your distributive property. Square root of five times one is the square root of five. Square root of five times square root of five is just going to be a positive five. Square root of five times square root of five is going to be a five. Now, you cannot just divide out these fives. If you do want to simplify this, you could distribute this five into the square root of five, or divide square root of five by five, which does not simplify, and then you could divide the five over five. So therefore, I could write a final answer of square root of five over five, because you cannot divide the five into this, because it's under a radical, plus a five over five, which is going to be a one. Or you could also rewrite this, instead of dividing by five, multiply by one fifth times the square root of five plus one. 